Hey gang, welcome to August New Moon. As well as today is the starting of Mercury Retrograde. So a lot of people is like, oh my God, there is a lot of energy in August, which is the truth. Because we're going to be experiencing not only the new moon today, as well as the changes um, of Mercury Retrograde. And some people get very... Um, Stand out fish when it comes to Mercury retrograde. It's really, I use it as a time for me to get my things together and build what is going to happen for the next six months. And when I say the next six months, that's going to take you into 2025. And in between that six months that we're going on right now, we're going to start to enter into a new phase. As some of you guys know, August the 8th is the Lionsgate. And I'm going to be doing another special segment on the Lionsgate. Um, on this segment, we're really going to focus on the new moon and how Mercury Retrograde can be a plus to you. And meaning a plus, meaning that, you know, everything like such as electricity, which we've been encountering here in Hawaii, so many rollouts, so many blackouts, so many this and that, that we're going to start seeing a lot of these things when it becomes into the um, energy level because of the huge switch. Um, some people can understand this switch um, physically, mentally, and most of all spiritually is because we're going through really from a 3D level into the 5D level. Everyone is in the 3D level as we see every single day. The chaos that we're going through, whether it's financial and now the upcoming election coming in November, there's going to be a lot of these people in the suit and ties. Their mask is really going to be taken off because it's a battle of power the battle of greed, and a lot of battle of lies and deceit that's really starting to echo out into the 3D world. And those of us who are upgrading our energy level, we can see from a different angle what's happening in this 3D level. If you understand what I'm talking about, it's usually people who have this... Um, I call it, um, you know, extra sensitive, um, intuitive things that they can see and they can feel things that is no longer really going to serve you because this chaos that's happening right now, whether, you know, whether it's in a financial, you know, collapsing of banks, shutting down in China, 40 banks in China all of a sudden shut down in July. And so they're going to be a huge um, things when it comes to production, manufacture, because a lot of lifehood, their money system disappeared. So if China can start doing that, guess what? Everywhere else is going to start to quiver the production of life, whether it's your pillow or whether it's your, oh, I don't know what that was. It came flying out whether it's your vacuum cleaner or whatever it is. All these things that's made and outsourced out into the China, to China, to Korea, to wherever, those are things that the production wise is going to start to change because there's going to be a lot of involvement of many different country such as India. India used to be one of the top countries that used to make a whole bunch of stuff. Then China took over. But anyways, we're not into all of that things right now. And what I'm saying is using that as examples, even our, what we eat, what we drink. You know, this one, I love it because it's directly made from outside. It's papaya, banana, and pineapple and I made this into mm. oh my god it's so good it's what we put into our body you know 
look into because there's going to be a lot, as we all know, lab foods, a lot of GMOs, a lot of these things that they have really switched up. And those of us that gotten the, um, you know, shot into their body, they will experience many things when they start to eat. Those that didn't take it will start to also feel the difference in what we eat. The taste, the sensory, and things like that are in now in different level because there's different things uh, inside the body, you know, whether it's um, whatever or how many times of, you know, um, preventative care is how preventative care you took upon will react and counter react into the body. You see a lot of poor dogs right now, their skin problem is up the wall. Why is because a lot of these environmental as well as food are consistently bringing these nanoparticles of things that we can't even see it. And that's why our medical microbial system is so great because it's not only takes out the itchy, stinky dog smell. It goes deep into the body because it's micro, it's minical, little minical that creates miracles into the body to take out all the impurity out of the largest organ of the body, the skin. And so check us out at cocojord.com. And guess what? We're going to be going out to Florida in October. And so we have a full schedule up ahead for Coco Jur. But getting back to the new moon is this is a time to write your intention. Write the intention for the next six months because you have the strongest eight, eight, eight. This month on August the 4th, today is a very beautiful day, August the 4th. 888. We're going to experience the new moon as well as the murky retrograde. Take advantage of this murky retrograde energy. Then we're going to go into August the 8th, which is the Lion's Gate portal. There's a whole different new subject about that, what's coming up, as well as mark your calendar. August the 17th is another strong day, as well as August 26th. So there's a lot, like I mentioned in my other video, the eight, the yin and the yang is really about how you balance and bring in the goodness for the next six months. Six to eight months, you're going to see a huge change. And if you do things that really serves its purpose, guess what? That eight sign is bing, bing, a dollar sign. And so work hard. Meaning that staying focused is how you use your time, how you use your energy, and most of all, how you take care of your health are very critical in these this month of August. This month of August will take you to that capacity of where you really work hard into. And I'm not saying this to be negative but those people who procrastinate and those people who expect things to just happen just because guess what people who took that time and energy and really focusing on what it is today is really the pinnacle point on where you're going to be standing mentally physically spiritually as well as monetary so really stay focused don't let the outer world the outer noise who cares what xyz is talking about i'm really getting tired of looking at my social media so i'm gonna you know pretty soon hand that over to someone else to do it because it's you see that's what happens when you're entering into the 5d world the 3d world looks like what everyone else does, social media, you got to be on this, you got to be on TikTok, you got to be this, and everything else is just 
really a huge drama. That's why I don't even watch TV. But those that focus to be in a to the next level to see what is a 5D level of life and people are like, what are you talking about? Well, start to meditate, start to concentrate and start to heal thyself from the inside out because the only person that can do that is guess what? It's you. And so I'm just here to guide you and how to get yourself elevated to the next 5D level because it's such a beautiful thing when you, you can see things that's so much brighter. You bring in the light. Yes, the last couple months I was in like, I mean, I black and blue right over here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a huge black and blue. I slip, boom, right in the bathtub on that thing. And it's been really um, sore. <laughs> that's why I'm glad I put always my Achilles heels so I can protect it but at the same time protect yourself always figure out what's best for you because you're going to be really really pulled in many different direction from where else the outer world whether it's the banks whether it's the financial world whether it's politics whether it's government whether it's xyz the food supply your friends how the act, what is social media is talking about? Is the media talking about the truth? All of this is, or is it AI, right? And so the world that we're living in is so much different energy. So elevate yourself, take you to the next level, the 5D level where you're gonna enjoy much more of what you planted your seed, guess what? Next year, 2005, that's five years ago, and it's gonna take you to that 5D level. So be prepared. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and we're gonna get more videos, to not only about this, but as well as dogs, jujitsu, and more. Aloha. So don't forget to write your greatest intention for the next year. 2025. So start writing. Journaling is the best way to manifest. Aloha.